Hey boys and girls, I'm Rhino. Welcome to Le Chef Kasu. Today we're doing hotel dining. Not the kind of, let's have a fine dining experience at a hotel restaurant. More of the, what can you eat in your hotel room? Sometimes you're traveling for business, sometimes you're traveling on vacation. If you're in a hotel for one night, you're probably just gonna go to a restaurant. That makes sense. But if you're in a hotel for three or four days, you might want to have some meals in your room. So what are some things that you can do when you have no microwave, no refrigerator, and no kitchen? I gotta get a little creative, just a little bit. Yeah. So I have envisioned a way to make zucchini rolls. It's a wrap and the purpose is that you will eat the entirety of every vegetable in that same day. Now vegetables can sit out on their own for a couple of days, be totally fine. The problem is once you cut a vegetable, you have to use the whole thing because you want to wrap it and put it in the fridge. You don't leave a half a vegetable on your counter. Yeah. So we're trying to use everything in one go. First thing you're gonna wanna do is slice your zucchini. We're gonna do four big slices. Now this is gonna be enough to serve two people. Now, you may not have a kind of cutting knife that does any good at all, but the hotel might. The hotel would at least have a butter knife, or the grocery store would have a plastic butter knife. After you've sliced down the zucchini, lay them down, and then in a perpendicular direction, you are gonna lay out all of the other ingredients so that then you can cut between all of them. Bell pepper. We really want to slice it into very small slices, almost as if we were to julienne it. Heirloom tomato. The secret to being able to use the entire tomato is you get a very small tomato. We're using English cucumber because it's better than regular cucumber. And I've only cut off half of the English cucumber. The other half you can cut into rings and eat as your chips because English cucumber is delicious, just like that. Then we're doing avocado. I recently read you can up the nutrients from the avocado if you peel it, but that will also make it easier for this particular dish if we peel versus just cut and squeeze it out. And we're putting a little watercress on top, mostly to give it a little crunchiness. You could also use something like pear, um, alfalfa sprouts, maybe. Now hummus would be really good. Problem with hummus is you're not gonna use a lot of it and you have to store this at room temperature. Hummus likes to be chilled. So we're using almond butter. Now I know what you're thinking. Rhino, this is really weird. Why would I put almond butter on this? Think of it like a peanut sauce that you put on Thai food. Yeah, just change your whole perspective right there. Almond butter. It can live totally fine at room temperature for a couple of days. Yay. And then we're gonna put a little fancy ring around it just to make it look pretty. And there you have it. It is a zucchini wrap. It required no cooking at all. No refrigerator. Yay, no kitchen. I did do it in my kitchen, but you don't need a kitchen. Um, and actually, if you're using a steak or butter knife, it'll be better for the countertop that you're cutting on. Because my really pretty stealthy knife, it will ruin that counter. Yes, it will. Which is why I always do it on a cutting board. Yeah. You could also bring with you a julienne peeler. That would help a lot, make your life a little easier. But you're definitely gonna wanna ask that front desk and try to get a butter knife in. Good luck slicing down that zucchini. Zucchini's soft enough. It'll be okay, it'll be okay. Thanks for watching the show. If you have some recipe requests, put them down below. I'd be more than happy to attempt it for you. I know we still got mashed potatoes coming and we're gonna be doing a lot of coffee and tea drinks because a macchiato shouldn't be a milkshake. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a good one. If you wanna hear more of Justin's awesome music, I put a link to it in the description below.